Hello, this is Svetlana Shepitsina and today I will show how to manage asynchronous requests in Redux. In our project we are using Firebase database and we will make a request to display a list of articles. When we make an asynchronous call to our database, the moment when we start the call and the moment when we receive an answer usually requires a change in the application state. So we need to create normal actions that will be processed by reducers synchronously. It is when request begins, when it ends with success or it ends with failure. And you can find exactly the same approach on Reddit post functionality. Also, we create an action creator function articles get with type articles get promise where we use request it's from actions you can find it in node modules here they are and documentation uh, just one second here here it's promise based http client for browser and node.js you can find everything on github and with method get we pass our Firebase data in JSON format. Here it is. Our actions are ready and we need a reducer to manage them. If my project directory is closed and I want to get an access to any folder with alt and shortcut to find it, I need to type a backslash first and then name a folder. For example, reducers. I'm here. And then I can come to our article reducer. And now I need to manage my workspace. Okay, here are actions and here is a reducer. We have created a reducer article, it accepts state and action, and we give default parameters to our state. We can find them in our Redux DevTools on initial state. Article is fetching false, empty array of articles, and error is null. We switch action types that we have imported for request success and failure and for each case we use object assign method in order to update state by creating a new object and this is ES6 syntax. And everything looks clear here, let's see how it works on application with dev tools. Let's come to home, reload commit and come to block. We got a list of articles displayed successfully and on articles get success we have is fetching set to false, array of seven items and error is set to null. In order to see what state we have before success I need to cross it out and you can see that loader is running data is still fetching and we have empty array of articles. So on our article component uh, we show loader every time when fetching is true. It means only when we are getting request we start getting request from our database. But when we get a success and our state is being changed we hide loader and show data that we got from database. Let's come to our component and you can see that is fetching true loader, fetching false articles list, but it's not correct. We need to show articles when we get data from database articles. We have also created an error notification and in order to see how it works I need to emulate an error in database path. So when I come to browser I immediately get failure result. You can see on action 
I have an error is fetching false. Somehow I have articles, so it means I made a mistake. And here I need to add error. And articles. But I need to negate it. When it's not error and we got articles from database, they should be shown and when it's error we get notification. Let's come to our path and articles. Now it's success, but show me that it cannot get data. Maybe this case because I still somehow have this articles from previous state and if I reload everything is fine and commit make an error now it works come back and it's still error how come let's check our reducers and what we set on error on failure error and on success let's change error to false okay we got a success and let's commit our state now I will make an error in the path cannot get data from database articles get failure everything is fine and I come back no error great and you can see how easy I can find my mistake uh, with using the Redux Dev Tools. What I did wrong, I forgot to set error property to my state on get success. But on our reducers, we created normal synchronous functionality for our actions. And in order to create a synchronous functionality, we need to use middlewares. First of all, we need to import Redux Thunk middleware. Alt B and you can find it on node modules and documentation on github redux thunk middleware allows you to write action creators that return a function instead of an action and then thunk converts action creator functions to the action object to pass it further and thunk middleware should always come first when you create universal middleware. Also, we have created a separate middleware for Firebase. We import it and we add it to our middleware's chain. And alt B, here we are. And here we fetch in data from Firebase and convert and return an object to an array. So we have an action creator function article get. We convert it to an object using thunk middleware and then we pass it to Firebase middleware through promise. And uh, then we need to destructure this object to local variables. Promise is Firebase and type. And our Firebase middleware will process only requests that are promises from Firebase. So we need to filter out all requests that are not promises and are not requests from Firebase. Then with action type articles get, we create constants, request, success and failure. We just add these strings. And now we can trigger request and return a promise. If our data is null, our promise will be resolved with failure. 
and sometimes when we get data from Firebase, it can be not an array but object. Then we need to convert it to array. So we check if our data is an object, we convert it to an array. If not, we just save it as data. So now our data contains articles array, we got a success and we return true. In case of failure, we return false. Our Firebase promise is resolved and uh, we can pass action and current state from middlewares to root reducer and root reducer will compute a new state for us and pass to, to the store. And from the store all connected uh, components will be updated. And in order to connect our React component to the Redux store, uh, we need to import React Redux. And here is our Articles Smart component. Uh, it doesn't have any render function and usually Smart components doesn't have any view. In this case, what this smart component does, it decorates our dump component article that we import here with state and action from the store. And all this we can do using React Redux. You can find all documentation here. It's docs provide their store and methods that we use map state to props, map dispatch to props. Here they are. And when we apply and connect method, we need to invoke these two methods second time and wrap our dump component article. And when this dump component is just added to the real DOM, uh, method component did mount runs and uh, from articles get I can come with control alt u where it is created on our actions. Also to make a Redux store available to the connect calls from your components you need to wrap the root of your component hierarchy inside the provider and we are doing it on client side here it is provider with store and on server side and here it is provider with a store you can find all documentation here about it also, it will be useful to learn more about smart and dump components. You will find all links on my video description on YouTube. And it's really important that connect method will return a new connected component that you will use without any modifying your rapid component. So we connect React component to the Redux store uh, inside our Smart Component article page and all Smart Components you can find inside containers. And uh, if we come to Common folder, we have Containers and Components. Here are all Dump Components. And also, if you, uh, if you wish to find where we use, where we import articles page, you just need to click Ctrl N and from here Ctrl Alt U. And we import it into places inside home and blog. Also, we use here multiple components. It's our articles and you can find it inside article list and uh, here documentation about using multiple components in React. It's very important uh, to add a key to each child in an array or iterator. So we add key of our article to each element of our iterator. If I remove this, 
and run our project with F12 on console, I will get a mistake here. Each child in an array of iterator should have a unique key property. And here is link to the to documentation. So I need to add a key again. And this is our dump component article list. And dump components only specify appearance uh, but no any behavior. And they can be easily injected in another app or in another component, like we do it with article list, control N, control RTU. Here we are on our article that we wrap inside our smart component. Control N, control RTU, and you can come to articles page and uh, control N. You can come to block or home, and uh, this way you can easily find where we, uh, where which component we import and use. So today we learned how to use smart and dump components, uh, multiple components in React, and also we learned how to handle asynchronous requests in Redux using middleware functionality. And that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.